real world data, real world evidence, natural history of disease. What does the evidence tell us? If you've had a conversation with Dr. Amy Abernathy, she actually knows what it all means. And while she does dig deep into the science, never once does she forget it's about the data itself, but what we learn from it to help patients. Her resume is stellar. She's a hematologist, oncologist, palliative medicine physician, and she's also principal deputy of the FDA. And as principal deputy, her vision for secure, high quality, real time data is clear in FDA's technology modernization plan. A strategy that will accelerate the path to better therapeutic and de diagnostic options for patients and clinical care providers and better tools to enhance and promote public health. Dr. Amy Abernathy's leadership, commitment, and passion, along with her drive on real world evidence have been especially critical during the COVID-19 global pandemic. She has built important partnerships to speed the use of real world evidence in our response to imploring healthcare researchers to learn what we can as soon as we can from patients who are receiving care right now. And she works closely with the Reagan Udall Foundation for the FDA Evidence Accelerator Program in collaboration with Friends of Cancer Research, helping to recruit, inspire, and challenge data specialists and researchers to do more faster in response to COVID-19. True leadership, however, is not just about innovation or crisis response. The measure of a true leader is often most visible in every day. And something we hear about Amy is how she works with others every day and how she works side by side with her teams. As one FDA staffer said, she leads from beside you. The Reagan Udall Foundation is honored to present you with the Innovation and Regulatory Science Leadership Award. So well-deserved. Congratulations, Amy. Wow. A huge and hearty thank you to Reagan Udall Foundation, to the FDA, and to all of my friends and colleagues. I am proud to stand here with you. So perhaps a bit of history. Let's go back to early in the pandemic, March 2020. The list of questions was long. What's the natural history of COVID-19, the illness? How are patients faring in the ICU? What about problems like long haulers and post-pandemic syndrome? What treatments are patients receiving? If patients receive treatments, what are the potential side effects and safety concerns? Are different treatments better than others, especially for different scenarios? How do we plan for our clinical trials? What about diagnostic tests? How do they perform in the real world? Well, the list of questions was long. And one of the key tasks was to figure out how do we mobilize the community of data holders, of researchers, of teams who wanna work on this problem to indeed be able to work on the problem with urgency and to do so in ways that continuously teach each other. Together with the Reagan Udall Foundation, Friends of Cancer Research, we started a community of real world data science teams and people who wanna work on this problem. We call that community the Evidence Accelerator. And importantly, if we're gonna work on this problem of bringing to the table available data sets from the real world to answer this list of a very important questions, we need to make sure that we're doing our work with absolute attention to detail and top quality science. Therefore, we built not only the community, but established a set of principles of how we work together. Those principles called create and lead, ensure that we are learning together with ruthless transparency. We apply our principles to make sure that we build high quality research. We base it on the development of best methods and that we are continuously communicating efficiently to get the word out about what we're learning, about what needs to be done to improve real world data research in the future and how do we continue to move the leading edge of this work. I'm so proud of the Evidence Accelerator community. We have a series of different work streams, for example, the therapeutics and the diagnostic work streams. 
We have different teams who are drilling into tough problems like the cancer patient who has COVID-19, issues as it relates to mental health, long haulers. We have over 600 participants in the Evidence Accelerator community with multiple meetings each week. And it really is a vibrant community continuing to advance this work of COVID-19 real world data science. Thank you, Reagan Udall Foundation, Friends of Cancer Research, and thank you to the entire Evidence Accelerator community for making sure that we get this done well and we do this work now and into the future. The other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is what I've learned since coming to FDA. Wow, FDA is an organization with over 18,000 committed professionals, civil servants, servant leaders. FDA is incredibly mission focused and we understand our responsibility for public health, for promoting innovation here in the United States and even our responsibility around the world. I've watched FDA as an organization work deliberately with urgency in service of how we ensure that we're addressing the pandemic, that we're doing the work that we need to make sure that our food supply is safe, that we're addressing critical questions such as the continued development of drugs and devices, even at a time where we're also attending to the pandemic, and that we're doing our work in other key areas like cosmetics and tobacco and veterinary medicine. And as I watch the work of the FDA, I realize how these servant leaders, our servant leaders at the FDA are part of making sure that we have a safe and secure future. And I am very proud to see what's happening now and what will continue to happen in the future. And I wanna say thank you to the entire FDA. We have Reagan Udall Foundation standing along next to us. They're our foundation. And as our foundation, Reagan Udall can help us solve problems that sometimes are hard to do directly at FDA. And so with that, I say thank you to Reagan Udall Foundation for all your creative work in helping us solve problems for the future. And so with that, again, a huge and hearty thank you and a cheers to 2021. I'm so proud to be a part of this community. Good evening, I'm Gary Neal of the Reagan Udall Foundation Board. You know, innovation is nothing new for our next honoree, Friends of Cancer Research. They're well known for their invention, creative problem solving, and commitment to getting new therapies to patients as quickly and safely as possible. To speed innovation, Friends drives collaboration among partners from every sector of healthcare to fuel advances in science, policy, and regulation that get life-saving treatments to patients fast. Less than 10 years ago, by working with FDA and other partners, Friends took breakthrough from concept to scientific white paper to bipartisan legislative solution to a tool now in full use by FDA to expedite the approval of multiple drugs in just 13 months. And as of this fall, the FDA has approved an incredible 182 breakthrough therapy designated products. Today, however, we recognize friends for their vision, leadership, and strategy on another innovation, real world evidence. Friends is on a mission to validate and operationalize the observational data generated during clinical practice outside of the limitations of clinical trials. Friends recognizes that this data refined into real world evidence has the power to guide research and inform care. They've established not one, but two real world evidence pilots to create thorough recommendations for researchers to grasp the full potential of using real world data in clinical research, drug development, and regulatory processes. Their work has culminated in a white paper that outlines a process for assembling fit for purpose data sets and a common real world protocol. The paper also provides recommendations for developing a real world evidence framework. Steeped in this focus, Friends was a ready collaborator with us at Reagan Udall Foundation for the FDA when we launched the COVID-19 Evidence Accelerator at the request of FDA. Specifically designed to move real world data into real world evidence, 
the Evidence Accelerator brings together top experts in healthcare data and analytics to share insights, compare results, and answer key questions to inform the nation's COVID-19 response. Through the Therapeutics Evidence Accelerator, which launched in May, and the Diagnostics Evidence Accelerator announced this summer, the project supports the research community in addressing specific questions about preventing, testing, and treating COVID-19 and in understanding the natural history of the disease. This understanding derived from real, real world evidence can help to swiftly address the many unknowns of COVID-19, especially for individuals with cancer and other underlying conditions who may be particularly vulnerable during the pandemic. In nominating Friends of Cancer Research for this award, Dr. Michael Boyle wrote that Friends is doing crucial work to support patient communities during this crisis and to further our understanding of the value and appropriate application of real world evidence. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to present Jeff Allen, President and CEO of Friends of Cancer Research with our 2020 Innovations and Regulatory Science Innovation Award. Thank you, Gary, for that kind introduction and thank you to the Regan Udall Foundation Board. We're very honored to be a part of the celebration tonight. Like many of you, we had the privilege of working with Congress in the early days of creating the foundation based on the vision of Dr. Von Eschenbach and others. We're so impressed at the accomplishments of the foundation and the important role you play in supporting the scientific mission of the FDA. I'd like to congratulate the other honorees this evening. The work of the Michael J. Fox Foundation is an inspiring model for science, advocacy, and public policy. And it's wonderful to share the virtual stage with Dr. Abernathy a leader in the oncology community whose vision for the role of real world evidence is improving healthcare. Nearly 25 years ago, Ellen Siegel founded Friends of Cancer Research as a one-year partnership with the NCI. Through her vision and remarkable spirit for collaboration, in the early 2000s, she shifted our focus toward working with the FDA. Since then, oncology science has rapidly changed and the FDA has been a catalyst and continues to reinvent regulatory processes to support those advancements. Thank you, Ellen, for your continued leadership and drive, and thank you to our FDA colleagues for your partnership with the research, development, and patient communities. Our work has continued to evolve to address cutting-edge opportunities in developing new medicines and the policies needed to get them to patients. An example of this is CT Monitor, one of the largest scale scientific endeavors in Friends history. Through this collaboration with multiple universities, drug developers, test makers, patient advocates, and government experts, we set out to assess the ability of a rapid and easy to use blood test to monitor treatment response. This unique partnership has already demonstrated the potential for circulating tumor DNA in the blood to be an indicator of whether a treatment is working earlier than is currently possible. Similarly, our work in real world evidence pilots has aimed to accelerate the use of electronic health data as a research tool. With Susan at the helm, we've been proud to collaborate with the Reagan Udall Foundation on a variety of projects, namely the COVID-19 Evidence Accelerator, to create a community to advance the use of real world evidence to address aspects of the pandemic. Tonight, it's my privilege to accept this award on behalf of Friends of Cancer Research, our staff, and all of our partners. Our work at Friends, like that of the Reagan Udall Foundation, unites stakeholders with shared trust and cooperation toward the common goal of improving the lives of patients. As I accept this award, I do so with appreciation and excitement for the incredible new scientific endeavors and collaborations in our future. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. I'm honored to be here tonight presenting this year's Advocacy and Policy Award. We present this award in recognition of the important role that advocacy plays in accelerating innovation and modernizing regulatory practice in ways that strengthen the safety and efficacy of health and consumer products. I can't think of a more deserving organization than the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Michael J. Fox iconic actor, author, advocate, whose Hollywood career has been celebrated by worldwide acclaim, honors, and awards, launched the foundation in 2000 after publicly disclosing his earlier diagnosis at age 29 
with Parkinson's disease. Since its founding, the Michael J. Fox Foundation has existed for one reason, to accelerate the next generation of Parkinson's treatments and to find a cure. Through an aggressively funded research agenda that ensures the development of improved therapies for those living with Parkinson's today, the foundation works tirelessly to find a cure and to speed breakthroughs that benefit patients in everyday lives. That means identifying and funding projects most vital to patients, spearheading solutions around seemingly impossible challenges, coordinating and streamlining the efforts of global collaborations, and taking risks that other funders sometimes can't afford to take, and enabling the most promising treatments to move forward. The Michael J. Fox Foundation has made a difference in the lives of patients all over the world by funding millions in high-risk, high-reward science, providing vital non-financial resources for Parkinson's disease researchers, serving as the field's leading convener, and building an action-oriented community among key stakeholders. From the very start 20 years ago, the Michael J. Fox Foundation bucked tradition. Rather than following the typical model of using outside advisors to determine how to allocate research dollars, they built an in-house team of formerly trained PhDs and business savvy leadership. Extraordinary leadership like Debbie Brooks, co-founder and executive vice chairman of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, who launched the foundation with Michael in 2000 and served as its founding CEO. And Dr. Todd Shear, CEO of the Michael J. Fox Foundation, who's been a key architect of the strategy to define high priority research areas for Parkinson's disease. Today, the foundation has raised over 1 billion to combat Parkinson's disease. And through the years, they have become a strategic leader and a trusted partner to researchers, thought leaders, philanthropists, and patients all over the world. As you can tell by the name of the foundation, their mission is deeply personal. Patients and families are at the center of every idea, every decision, and every program. The Michael J. Fox Foundation has a goal of meeting every person with Parkinson's online or face-to-face. -face. They are committed to connecting patients and families to a robust nationwide Parkinson's community. And it's not just about reach, it's about engagement. They want people living with the disease to understand the latest science, participate in clinical trials, advocate for policy, and to take part in community and Team Fox events. On behalf of the 6 million individuals living with Parkinson's and their families, the Michael J. Fox Foundation won't stop until a cure is found. Michael, you are an inspiration for all. We thank you for your openness, your honesty, and countless hours spent to bring awareness to this difficult disease. You give us hope. And as you say in the epilogue of your new book, we can all take something positive from 2020 to accept what has happened in the past, to embrace the present, and to remain open to the probability it will get better in the future. With gratitude, optimism becomes sustainable. Michael, Debbie, Todd, I am truly honored on behalf of the Reagan Udall Foundation for the FDA to present the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research with the 2020 Innovations and in Regulatory Science Advocacy Policy Award. Thank you. Our deepest thanks to Lynn and to the FDA Foundation Board of Directors for recognizing our foundation's vision of pushing science forward through collaboration and transparency. Since our start, we have funded more than $1 billion in Parkinson's research with 17 new Parkinson's drugs and treatments approved by the FDA in the last seven years. We're proud of the role we've played in, pay, in improving the lives of families navigating this disease. Yet we are sober about the work that still lies ahead. We remain committed to funding every promising idea until we reach our goal, curing Parkinson's and closing our doors. This is our responsibility and our promise. This recognition means the world to us. 20 years ago, laying out the blueprint for this foundation, we had no idea it would grow to this extent. Uh, with the help of countless individuals, we set out to do whatever it takes to speed the, 
speak tangible results for people and families with PD. If it matters to people with Parkinson's, we're on it. Our staff and partners work every day to identify critical priorities in Parkinson's research and therapeutic development. Our goal is to ensure that no good idea goes unpursued for lack of resources. And because patients are the real experts on Parkinson's, we aim to amplify the voices of those living with the disease to accelerate progress and illuminate pathways to breakthroughs. In our short history, we have strived to chart a course as a different kind of stakeholder in the medical research enterprise. Our singular mission has been to speed the delivery of better treatments and a cure by convening industry, academics, and the federal government to work together on behalf of people with Parkinson's. We are measurably grateful to the hundreds of thousands of patients and families actively participating in our mission, whether through clinical trials, advocacy on Capitol Hill, or just financial support for our, for our work. The community is the heart of everything we do. This award is for them. On behalf of the 6 million Parkinson's patients worldwide, thank you again for this honor. Yeah, that we'll make finding a cure inevitable.